Hi guys, it's Alex here from Homey. In this video, I want to show you how to pair your Fibaro motion sensor to Homey. It's a really easy process. Let's jump into it. So as with any device, I want to head to my devices and hit the plus in the top right. Here I can type in Fibaro to find the Homey app for this brand. So I'll tap on the Fibaro app. Here you'll see a list of all of the devices that Homey connects with from Fibaro. In this case, I have a motion sensor Z-Wave Plus. So I'm gonna tap on that. I can hit connect and Homey will offer detailed pairing instructions for this device. So to add a Z-Wave device, I need to press the button on your Fibaro motion sensor three times. And I can see that the button is located inside the motion sensor. So let me quickly take this apart. It's really simple. You just twist and it comes apart. Then you might have to remove a plastic tab from the battery, which I've already done. Now we can tap on this button three times fast. So let's do that. I'm going to tap it one, two, three. And you'll see that the first action gets a check mark. The next step is to press the button three times again. I'm going to do that now. One, two, three. Both steps have a check mark and it's now adding the device to Homey. As soon as the device has been added, I'll see it here as a device tile in my home. Once your motion sensor has been added to Homey, you can put it back together. That's quite a simple process as well. You have to line up these two dots on the housing until it comes together and then slide them so that they're in line. Then it's locked. Put this back on and this is used to stick onto your wall. Now, if I head into the device tile and hold down on it, I can see what this motion sensor is capable of. In this case, I have no actions, but it does track the luminance, temperature, a motion alarm, and a tamper alarm. I can also see my battery percentage, and right from here, I can create a flow for this device. Now, the flows for a motion sensor can vary. You can use this to have lights turn on in your room when motion is detected, or to have the temperature set to a, a nice level for yourself if you're entering a room. How creative you get with your flows and automations is all about your smart home. So make sure that it fits for you.